Sales is pretty straightforward. If your house is on fire, you will need a fire extinguisher and you will pay a lot of money to get the fire extinguisher now to solve the problem, right? So that is being on time. So when your prospect comes to you and says, my house is on fire and I need something, well, then the sales is pretty easy, I would say. But that is only two to 3% of the whole world when you go outside and try to sell a product. But what do we do when, when you're too early? Or what do we do when we're too late? So most sales methodologies and everything you can find on YouTube and all these trainers, they always gear on this on time. But there is so much more. So let's walk through. When you're too early, basically those people don't have a notion of the problem. They don't see the problem. They don't feel it. They don't see it. So the, the goal there is to actually talk about something what I call is why would they need it now? And the way to do that is to increase the problem. Talk about a problem they're not aware of or they're aware of. And, and to speed it up, you got to make the problem way bigger. When you are on time, the prospect in front of you knows that they have a problem. They are aware of that problem. And what you need to do is you need to create rest in their mind. You need to say, look, the problem you have, the problem you're facing, the root cause of why that is, is different. And then they'll look at you and they'll go, what, what are you saying? Because I've done my research a lot. And you say, no, no, problem is a bit different. That way you become an expert and that way you can actually take the deal somewhere to a place they didn't think of, right? And what you do there is you give structure. You explain to them how easy it is to solve if they work with you. Typically, it's three steps or five steps. It doesn't matter, but it's something like that, right? So it's more of a step methodology. The last one, if you're too late, well, you're too late. While well, the deal has been given to somebody else, what you got to remember there is that eventually, within a year or within two years, actually, they will need something. So what I do there here is I always will go back every quarter. I will try to go back or every six months. I will not forget them and I will give them something of value. And what is something of value? Well, something of value is literally something they are not aware of. For instance, I've met that person. Here is a, a, a screenshot of a price list of somebody else. And basically, I approach them by saying, I was thinking about you. That works really well. And when the moment comes, there is an opening, they will phone you. Now, another technique before we go on those three, always, always offer choice. For instance, if I tell you, you should subscribe to this YouTube channel, you'll probably be thinking, yeah, but I'm a grown up person and you tell me what to do. I'm not going to do it, but it doesn't work that way. So I should always offer you a choice. And the choice is always twofold. One hand, I need to either inspire or educate you, give you something of value like this video, right? Or I need to fix a problem straight away that you're currently having. Your house is on fire. And if I always operate in that way, everything I do, a sales presentation, a cold call, me talking to you, it doesn't matter. But if I always give you choice, I can actually maneuver you in a direction I want you to go and you decide where you are in the sales cycle. And for me, it's very important because if you decide where you are, I actually know I'm either too early or I'm on time because if you say, I want a solution now, I know I'm on time. And if you say, ah, give me some more information, you're probably sitting there and then I know I need to use the why now technique.